do we blame everybody who did an interview with Bombo Marcos because it didn't please whatever we felt has to be discussed. Kung naniniwala kang dapat napaparusahan sila, palagay ko malalim. Go to our justice system. Go to our history. Go, go, an- ano ba talaga ang nangyari? Ni hanggang ngayon nga, hindi natin alam kung sinong pumatay kini Noy Aquino. Ang, ang dami kong tanong tuloy. Kagabi lang, I was reading a book and I want to call some of my friends. I mean, I have historian friends. Kahit yung narrative ng Aguinaldo at sa Bonifacio, ni that narrative needs some clarity. Sino ba ang, ang ibang bansa, di ba? May mga truth commission, may mga uh, commission on human rights and uh, history, etc. Kailangan magkaisa tayo kung sino ba ang ating dapat paniwalaan. And that's a very difficult question to answer. I was talking, for example, to a friend of mine who's a diehard Marcos supporter. I ayaw naman makinig. Ayaw naman makinig. Ako naman, hindi ako nangangampanya. Sabi ko, just listen to my story. And then I was talking naman to, you know, uh, a Lenny Robredo supporter who would just say, Marcos, evil, period. Oh, I mean, evil incarnate, he was a dictator, he plundered the country, etc., etc. But is this the kind of discourse, is this a kind of is this a kind of conversation that our country needs today? Paano ba tayo pwede mag-usap-usap na nagkakarinigan? Hindi ko rin alam ang sagot, ha? Oh, but I think these are the questions na nakuha natin dito sa karanasan natin, Kitoni Gonzaga. But I think it is not fair to blame her as an interviewer and Toto for all the sins that are being attributed to the Marcoses. Whether you like her, you respect her, that's a bit of a stretch. You